Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another Art Snacks unboxing video. This is the December Art Snacks box and I'm really happy to share it with you guys. I love sharing Art Snacks with you guys. I think it's really fun and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Before I get into this unboxing, I want to tell you guys that if you got the Art Snacks box, Number one, if you made something, share it with me. Number two, if you got something that's like a different color or something, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I want to know what you got. I want to know what you drew uh, because I think it's really awesome. So Art Snacks is now $24 a month in and free shipping if you live in the U.S. and $24 a month plus $10 shipping if you live internationally. I am grandfathered in at $20 a month because I've been subscribed since before the monetary change um, so I still get them at $20 um, but that's just me if you're a new subscriber it will be an extra $4 however I have noticed that they have increased the quality of their supplies and um, they're it's worth more than $24 usually um, let's hope this one doesn't make me a liar uh, but anyway yeah you have to order before I think it's the 23rd of the month um, I'm pretty sure that's when it is uh, I could be wrong, but if you want January's box, you should probably order before the 23rd of the month. Uh, if I am wrong, I'll correct myself on the screen. So, um, let's just open it. Uh, I'm really excited. I've already cut open this because I always seem to have the hardest time in the whole world um, opening these things. So I've already actually cut open the tape, but I have no idea what's inside. So, I'm going to take this and toss it to the side because I don't want to know what's in it. I like being surprised. We have our standard Art Snacks vinyl sticker. I absolutely love this. Um, I have so many of them, <laughs> and they're stuck in various places. Um, yeah, I'll put it right there so you guys can see it. Uh, next up, it looks like we have got a Karen Dodge Discovery set. It's got five super color soft, uh, I assume colored pencils, plus it has one full blender bright. Uh, that's exciting. And then it's just the back of the box. Let's open these up and look at them. So it's like a little rainbow. We've got um, just like your basic blue color. We've got a really pretty green color. Yellow. Uh, my favorite color in the whole world, orange. And then we've got red and then all of these are sharpened, but this is not sharpened. This is a medium. That's interesting. Um, but it, it's a blender. Um, so that's really exciting. Let's see what the card has to say about them. So it's a limited edition Karen Dash Discovery set. It's a $17.08 retail. Um, and then it just says the Karen Dash Discovery set is not sold on its own, but this month Art Snackers get special access to this exclusive set. It includes five colored pencils and one full blender bright and oil wax medium used for blending and burnishing. Use it right out of the box or sharpen it and try blending with a point. Oh, so you don't even have to sharpen it. That's cool. The bright soft colored pencils are also water soluble. Just use a wet brush to create a watercolor wash effect. That's really cool, and that's 17 bucks. This is over half of what I paid for this box already. Next, we've got our Art Snacks candy. It is a candy cane, you know, for the month of December. Mine's a little cracked, but you know what? Candy's still edible, um, and I will be snacking on that. So next up in this box, it looks like we have got a sharpener. I have so many sharpeners. Um, I do prefer the ones that have like a casing so I don't have to like try to hover this over and catch all the shavings. Um, but let's see what this has to say about it. So this is a magnesium long point sharpener by Coombe. It is $1.95 retail and then it says it's important to get a sharp point on your pencil to get maximum control and performance. The magnesium long point sharpener by Coombe, and they tell you how to pronounce it, Shaves off wood while also shaping the graphite core all in one motion. This small lightweight sharpener is a great addition to your art studio or travel art kit, which I will admit, yeah, these are really good for taking on the go. Um, but again, I just prefer things that have a casing to catch the shavings because I'm a lazy person. Actually, does that even make me lazy? I don't know, but I'll still use it. It's nice. Coom always makes the best sharpeners in the world, so at least the ones that I've used. And then the rest of the stuff is in this 
uh, standard green, uh, what's it called? Tissue paper. So we're just gonna rip it. Maybe. Ugh, I always have the worst time. This is like. Uh, I can never get this. They do a good job packing it, that's for sure. <sighs> it looks like celery. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okie do. So we've got a two thing, a two things. Um, we've got two things in here. I'm gonna toss that tissue paper to the side. Actually, I'm gonna toss the box as well. So, first up, we've got a Stabilo point eighty eight fine. It's a point oh four or oh point four. My bad. In what looks to be like this mauvey pinkish magenta e color. Those are completely different. They're all different. Why? Why? So, I've got this scrap piece of paper lying around. I'm going to color on it. Okay, so it's basically the color of the caps. I could have done that with the other stuff. I probably should have swatched the colored pencils. I will. I will show you to swatch the colored pencils before we go to the illustration. So, stay tuned for that. So, here is what the card has to say about this. It is the Sibilla Point eighty eight Fine Liner Marker Pen. It is a ninety five cent retail, and this is the staff favorite. So it says the Sibilla Point eighty eight Fine Liner Marker Pen is made to last. The pen tip is encased in metal to extend pen life, and this pen won't quickly dry out if the cap is left off, thanks to specially formulated ink. Stabilo produces this pen in twenty vibrant colors. I actually have one of these in black, so um, I do know that it lasts a while, and I really like it. So. Uh, and then lastly, but definitely not least, is something I've never heard of. Well, I've heard of the brand, um, but I've never heard of this particular product. It is a Higgins Black Magic marker, um, and it's got a bullet tip. Of course, the black ink isn't in it yet, so it's still got a nice white tip. Um, so it, it's ink. Um, it's made by the Chart Pack Company. And then they just tell you how to uh, activate it, which is basically shake and then um, you know, push the pen nib down, marker nib, whatever. Um, this is really cool. So the card says that this is obviously the Higgins Black Magic Ink Pump Marker. This is a $5.95 retail. Um, so this is a new product. No wonder I've never heard of it. The Higgins Black Magic Ink Pump Marker lays down artist ink with ease and control. Black Magic, this brand's darkest ink, dries to a matte finish. The one millimeter nib delivers a bold, thick line. Give this marker a good shake before using. Uh, will do. So, let's get this working real quick. Oh, oh god. Okay, that is a lot faster than other ones that I've tried. So, I mean, it's just your basic black. Um, and yeah, so let's swatch out these colored pencils while we're at it. I'm not gonna do the whole, um, watercolor swatch. You know, to like, see if they're water soluble or not. I'm going to probably do that in the illustration. But... I think I will go ahead and at least give you the basic color laydown of these. These are really soft. Oops, I went out of rainbow color order. My bad. There's what they all look like. So these are the things or at least the colors of the things that we got in this month's Art Snacks box. So, just to recap, we got the Karen Dosh Discovery set of five colored pencils and one blender. We got the Stabilo Point Four Fine Liner in pink. Beautiful, beautiful pink. We've got the Higgins Black Magic Ink Marker. Of course, we've got the sticker, the card, and then the candy. So make it look all presentable for you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited. I love working in color pencils, although I don't do it enough. I do love it. And I'm really excited to share what I can create with only these supplies. So uh, if you're curious as to what I create, stay tuned for the illustration. And I'm going to do that right now. 
Alright, so we have hit the speed paint portion of this video, and um, as you can tell on the side of the screen, there are pools of like watercolor that was from the pencils themselves. I got them wet and I made little watercolor pools over there. Um, so I want to apologize because my camera had a hard time focusing on this. It was way too bright, so I apologize for that. Um, but anyway, I decided to just paint a little portrait bust of a girl with a bunch of flowers around her and stuff, and I was really happy with it until I added that Higgins Black Magic marker. I hate that thing. <laughs> I have already gotten rid of it. Like, I don't like it, and it literally ruined my whole picture, and I was so upset. So, um, I do want to let you guys know that I'm not cheating in my Art Snacks challenge. This paper was actually from a previous Art Snacks box. Um... It's the Stonehenge watercolor uh, ATC card, um, so yeah, but I like this picture. Like, I did everything I could to salvage this because I was really upset, um, and I think I did an okay job at salvaging it, but I was still pretty upset that I ruined it, so um, yeah, but I hated that pen, that marker, whatever you want to call it. It's just too thick for my taste, I guess. Um, I'm not too into thick markers. Um, so yeah, but uh, this is a really simple painting and it was a lot of fun to do other than the frustrating bits, um, but you know, I it's been weird. Um, this was my first traditional that I've done in a while, so I do want to let you guys know that this box was worth $25.93, so that's $1.93 more than uh, the newer subscribers would pay and that's $5.93 more than I paid. Uh, so that's really awesome, and uh, I think it was really worth it. Aside from that Higgins marker, I just, I don't know, I wish they had added a marker that was thinner to kind of go with the whole theme because, oh, uh, it's just thick. I end up using it, though, as a paint. I actually scribbled it off into the little clear palette that you see I have there, and I used it to color the hair in darker colors. Of course, you'll see that now, but... Uh, anyway, um, this video is coming to a close. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know if you got this box. Um, and don't forget to join our cute little squid pod if you haven't already to keep updated on new videos and stuff like that. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!